Hey there, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can effortlessly remove white backgrounds from images and make them transparent so that you can turn them into coloring book pages for your low and medium content Amazon KDP business. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let me show you how it's done. So this tutorial is actually very, very simple and it works well when you're trying to create a book, for example, a learn to draw book or a step-by-step -step learn to draw book. And you have an image here with a white background but you want the grid lines in the back to show so what I do and the easiest way that I found out is just through this program the software called Canva they have great tools at your disposal that can easily delete the white space of an image and it works really well so if you click the image that you have you'll come up with this option here where you can edit the photo so if you go ahead and click edit photo, you can see that it shows this area right here. And you have six options. And the only option that we want to focus on is this background remover. And as you can see, the picture of the background remover is exactly what it does. It removes the background of an image. So if I click this, it should take away all of the white space of the image. So I'm going to click it right now. And as you can see, it takes the white space and I can go ahead and resize the image and be done with it. And this page is complete. And I just wanted to show another image to see what Canva can do with this. And if we go ahead and do the same process, click the image, edit photo, and hit the background remover. As you can see, it takes out all the white space and you can just resize it and this page is ready to go. I want to show another image. This one is of birds and it's a little bit more intricate, but it's the same kind of concept. And this really, really works well when the white, the background is a uniform color. It makes it easy for Canva to just delete that white because it's only looking for that exact same color. And if we go ahead and do the same thing and hit background remover. It in fact deletes the background and we can resize it and basically it's a complete page. Now what happens if you have an image like this where you have a white base in the background and then you have another color, it's not white, but it's still a uniform color, can Canva delete this gray color along with the white basically make the whole image transparent now if we click the background remover we'll see exactly what it does and as you can see it takes away the white space but it doesn't take away the rest of this gray and so we can't really use this right we need to delete the rest of this unfortunately canva has its limitations and this is as far as you can go with Canva. So what I would do now is I would use a program like Photoshop and open this into Photoshop and delete the rest of the color. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Okay, so now we have this image loaded into Photoshop. And one of the easiest ways that you can go about this is just by clicking this magic wand tool. And it's a tool that's going to help you select an area based on its color. And so if you were just to click anywhere on the background, you can see that it selects background. Now, if I click delete, you can see that the background is in fact gone. It's transparent, as you can see by the, the grids in the back. But the inside is still not transparent. And that's part of this. We want this white or this gray to be gone 
Now you can go ahead and click all of these little gray areas, but honestly, it's just going to take a lot of time. So there is an easier way, and that easier way is just by clicking this marquee tool. And then if you want to zoom in, you can zoom in a little bit. And what you want to do is go ahead and select just a small portion of the area, of the color that you want to delete. You don't want any other colors in here except the color that you want to delete. Once you have that selected, all you do is you go up here to the top, click select. And then right here, if you click similar, it will go ahead and select all of the similar colors that you just selected. If you click delete, you can see it easily, quickly deleted all of that. And if you were to go ahead and save this and load it into Canva, you can see that it is in fact fully transparent. So here it is in Canva, fully transparent, ready to go. All of the white space, the gray color is all gone. And that honestly was pretty simple. Now, let's say you have a little bit more of a complicated image. You want to turn it into a coloring page, but you have all these colors and maybe you want to try to see if Canva can delete the background colors and turn it into something that someone can color in. So if we go ahead and try by clicking edit photo and background remover, you can see that it says that we couldn't detect the background in that image. Please try another image. So this is a photo that I would take into Photoshop and edit there with the same process that I showed with the previous image. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I've loaded the picture in Photoshop and we're going to go ahead and try to delete all of the colors in the background and in the picture so that we can have a uniform color that we can turn into a coloring page. So go, let's go ahead and make sure the marquee tool is selected. And the first color that we want to delete is white. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to select the white and then go up here to select similar and as you can see, it selected all of the white in the picture in the background. And then we go ahead and delete that. And then you can see all the white is gone. But we still have two colors to delete. We have the yellow and the blue. So let's go ahead and focus on the blue. And I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit more so that the marquee tool can grab a little bit of this blue. And then I'll go ahead and select similar. And as you can see, it selected all of the blue. If I hit delete, it's all gone. And then finally, the yellow, if we go ahead and do that with the yellow, select, similar, let's zoom out so you can see what happens here. And then we go ahead and click delete. As you can see, all of that is gone. And if we go ahead and take this image back into Canva and put it on a blank white page, you can see that it'll turn into a beautiful coloring page ready for someone to start coloring. And here we go. As you can see, I've loaded the picture up into Canva and all of the color is gone. So we went from this full color image and easily using Photoshop, deleted the colored background and turn it into a black and white image that's ready to be put into a coloring page to be part of a coloring book that you can go ahead and upload onto KDP and start making money with. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what kind of video you want to see from me next or if you have any questions for me. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a new video. Thanks guys for watching. Bye for now.